Monday, August 21st, 2023. CL63 is supposed to be 2008-2009. The guys they have prepared it. Let's see one second. Wakey wakey. Kilometers. Are you gonna show me? Yeah. 222 117. Oh boy. Model year 2009. September 2008. Yeah, 2009. Yeah. No faults. I see here on the health report. One second. To hide the VIN. All right. Motor electronics, zero fault. All right. Transmission, zero fault. That's a good one. Nice. Let's see the other page what has. Driver side, some, the fuse box, three faults. Dynamic seat, yeah, we don't care about that. Calibration is not carried out, stored and current. Stored, 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 stored and current. TSP is fault. Yeah, this is for the electrician and it's for the seat. It's not for me. Wow. Looking good, by the way. Yeah? That looks bad. <coughs> what they have done here, the guys? Ignition coils are out. Okay. They have opened for me the covers. Silicon pipe here. I have mentioned something regarding the thermostat. I have said that this is for bleeding. As soon as it comes the air out from the system, even if after that you block it, if you put a screw in case that you broke the plastic, uh, plastic fitting here, it's fine. Keep in mind that this pipe and this pipe that's from the radiator that has also a restrictor inside these pipes, this bypassing the radiator. So, in old days, in the older cars, they had a screw that you can bleed it. Mercedes, he didn't put a screw because it's going to make dirty everything from the coolant, and they put the self-bleeding system. In any case, what bother is that? Okay, it's a battery, and it's not secured, and this cable for what? Why to have this wire like that? Yeah, it's not secured down. All right. We have removed the spark plugs. Ah, oh, no, the spark plugs still on. What can we say for the intake manifold? I don't want to touch the intake manifold. PCV back over here. Zero one fifteen. All right, it's not bad. It's been replaced. Almost. Not, not a decade. Okay, it's eight years ago. Yeah. 2023, 15, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh bullshit. Yeah. Since the guys they have already opened the covers, let's lift out, lift up the covers. I have to remove the 30 torques here, and then they lift also another one 30 torques here, and then they leave another 30 torques over there. What in hell? Why? Why did that? Leave one, two, three, 30 torques. Okay. From this side. Yeah. All right. Oh okay. kick. Is it floating, Lansing? Yeah, it looks like it's floating. Looks okay. Pulleys. Nice. Not bad. Has the update pulleys. Aftermarket ones. Yeah, that's not right with the fan. I mean, it's it was stuck. It's supposed to run a little bit more freely. And not like that, but in any case, we can make a test. We can run a test on that. Has a cooler inside? Oh boy! Oh shit! Let me try to open it. 
why they're over tightening the cap, the coolant cap. There is a stop point here, and now it's get past till here. Do not, do not extra tight. You just have to stop where it's stopping. The sign of the tank looks, it's pointing front, all right. And when it stops here, that's it. Even if it's like that, it's not leaking. It's fine. That's not a good sign. There is a trace of oil inside. That's not a good sign at all. Yeah, you can barely see trace of coolant there. Oil level is it okay or is it filled up by itself? Let's have a look. Dipstick, clean, all right. It's a little bit broken. Uh, yeah, it's not the best shape. Let's put it inside to have a look on it. Mr. Derek, good morning, sir. Can you please bring me a light here? Good thing the form of the bumper reinforcement is in place. That means uh, one small crack here and here. All right. All right, let's have a look. There is oil inside. Yeah, it looks like that there is an extra oil inside. It's beyond the maximum point. Yep, yep. All right, let me lift up this cover and open the screws for this cover to have a look on it. All right, bank one. Bank one, you see the wear on the lobes. Can you see the wear on the lobes? That's the question. It's even worse. Yeah, we don't have the full picture because we need to turn it. Yeah, this, this and this lift has been compromised. Let's tap it up. All right, 27. Let's see. Is it locking the cam adjuster? Nope. It's not locked and I'm bleeding it. Ah, it's escaping only from here. Oh boy. Yep, yep. This plate, I guess, it said goodbye. Yep. Head bolts, looks like that they changed it. So it might be. What happened here? What's all the, these marks? Have they changed all of them? I've seen in the past that they have changed a couple of them, not all of them, <laughs> believe it or not. Now, the oil, what we see here in the coolant expansion tank, it might be an old case before they change the head bolts. And after changing the head bolts, maybe it stopped coming um, oil inside. <sighs> Mixing up the, yeah, yeah the, <laughs> the upper head is like a chewing gum. It's supposed to don't be like that. Mr. Derek now is opening the 330 talks for me. I found him there and I grabbed him and said to him, okay, please open it. On the cover here, there is some sign of rust. Indicates that before there was some coolant there or some water. Maybe they put, this is why it's like that. Nice. Here needed one bigger washer or a different nut with the integrated washer like similar to this one to stay in place and don't be on the air ah it's not even the pin inside yeah uh, lovely we're gonna take care of this all right all right the intake come adjusted the plate it said goodbye and has a rate of leak from here let's open the bank too Bank to open, just a second. Now, if you compare this cover with this cover, it, it clearly there was a problem with the bank one. Bank two, it looks how it's supposed to look like. Bank one looks much more clean and with some corrosion here. So if there was any broken bolt, it wasn't bank one, I guess. 
Then we have to turn the engine. Why? Because you don't see the lobe on the number eight, seven, and five. Right, right. You see some sign of wear, but not something crazy. Most probably they change it one at a time, the bolts. That's how it looks like. Yeah, this come adjuster, it's in locked position. It doesn't mean anything, this one, because you might open it and it looks like a shit inside. It will gonna be. Usually they're going together. Okay, let me grab the light to see that all the bolts been replaced and then we're gonna lift it up to continue watching the car. Checking the car, yeah. Such a lovely sound from the two post lift, eh? I need the light. The brake pads, they, they should give a sign that it's at minimum. Uh, Minerva. Minerva, I remember uh, there was a brand of an underwear when I was a kid. I don't know if it's uh, still existing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Same. 25th week of 21, brake rotors. Brake rotors need to be replaced years ago, not now. Brake rotors, you see this slip? This slip, I mean, it's visible also with the camera. The, the, the brake rotors, it's supposed, to don't, it's supposed to go for scrap at this point. It's critical where it is right now. <laughs> it's beyond the minimum thickness. <laughs> Right back, outside, down low. Ah, the rear one's better. Okay, 15-21. Yeah, also the rear brake rotors, very issue faced. Still have a brake pad. The rear one, take a look at the rim. Oh boy. Yeah. Fifteen twenty-one. down low. Outside. If you are asking me, I will gonna change all brakes. I'm not gonna keep this BS on it. Shock absorber here. I've seen better days. The same thing also this one. The right one is worst. But here it looks okay. Fine. Diff. Bushes. Looks okay. Drive soft rubber coupler looks beautiful. Looks like they changed it. They put a new one. Breather of the diff hub, it's clean. A little bit the seal of the diff here. I'm talking about the big seal here where I'm pointing. That seal, this is dry, this is a little bit wet. Inner outer axle wood looks okay. Same thing from this side. All right, frame back here. Yeah, the boot, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. They can last. Right. Need to check also the tires later on from inside. This clamp here, it's much better to put it here. So don't be so low. I'm just saying. Alright. Drive shaft rubber couple of the front one. Looks okay. The nut inside on the transmission. It doesn't look okay. Looks like that somebody was there before. It's not being secured properly. I will have gas, so you know that. There you go. Whoever opened it, he reused the old nut and they didn't secure it. Transmission mount, it's a second. It's fully down. It's on the floor. It starts in down on the floor. Has a bigger gap up. 
if it doesn't make any vibration, I guess it can stay. The engine mounts, the engine was floating. Here we see lower arms, one cap is missing, that's not ideal. Lower arms be replaced, tie rod and as seen better days. The bus is here front. It looks okay. Looks okay. The boot of the civic zone has some minor cracks but it's not leaking. Alright. Lower arm. New. Fine. This is touching on the belt. This oil cooler line is touching. No, it's not touching. Barely. Alright, it's missing the bracket here. They change the AC compressor. The AC compressor is new. Alright. They have dent the oil pan. It's not the ideal. Because there is one oil pickup tube inside. Oh, they have messed with the car. How many people here? Oh boy. Can you try to play left and right to see if you feel any space, any movement? It's nice and solid. Yep. That's how it looks like. And up and down, please. AC condenser looks like it's a new one. Here it's a special bracket for the cooler. It's in the air. And they put just only one cable tight. And the thinnest one that they can find. Why the fucking fuck they did that? Yeah. The heat exchanger here. The heat exchanger, they fa it failed, it might, maybe they change the heat exchanger and the heat bolts at the same time, if they were smart. Because you have to change both, so don't have any headache. Alright, 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 alright. Now, like I said, this is the highlights, these are the highlights. Finishing with the video, grabbing the crowbar, and checking it again. Plus need to spin the engine to bring the lobes up to see the condition what I know for sure I know for sure that the cam adjusters the plates of the cam adjusters they are not gonna be in the best shape and we have a couple of things here and there yeah that's it for now over and out let's uh, we, there is a, yeah there is a space there is space these, these pipes are supposed to don't be on the air like that. They have a brackets for this reason. To don't fly. Yep, yeah, but what to do and what to say. Right? Yeah. We're well, gonna get also sample from the transmission, from the engine oil, and from the differential. Just in case to see what has at the bottom in one clear cup. Alright. That's it, over and out.